I used to live my life alone I was living it just for me I never knew this life I live Will judge my eternity And one day I just started Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah And welcome to the very first episode of A Moment Here with me, Abdelaziz a Moment is an Islamic series that is brought to you by the Busy Creative Concepts that talk to Islamic personalities about the very best important moments in their life, what are the lessons they derived or learned from this moment, and how best they can use this moment to influence the lives of others. With me is one of Sierra Leone's most celebrated Islamic personality. He is no less an individual, but Dr. Ibrahim Salih Kamara. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the moment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, Doctor, for being part of the moment. Thank you, all the same, yeah. First of all, who is Dr. Ibrahim Salih Kamara? Dr. Ibrahim Salih Kamara presently is a, a senior lecturer in the Military Magai College of Education and Technology, uh, Godich Campus, and the chief imam of the Timni Central Mosque in Freetown, known as Jamil Jalil. Okay, he's Dr. Ibrahim Sadi Kamara and he's the guest, the very first guest for a moment. So, Doctor, this program is geared towards getting Islamic personalities to share their best moments with us. There are moments that they consider the moments in their lives which are very much historic, I can say, and also which people can consider and learn so much from. Do you have any moments that you want to share with us? Of course, I have so many, but uh, inshallah, I'll, I'll be speaking to you in a, a few, about a few of them. Okay. So what are some of these beautiful moments that you want to First share? of all, let me just uh, trace a verse in the Quran when Allah says, Lakad insan fi kabadin. Allah has created every man to face the challenge of life. But the first luck I consider myself lucky is that um, I was born by highly clerical family, religious family. My fathers in the father's side, mothers in the mother's side, grandmothers, uncles, most of them are um, scholars in, the, in the, the, the early days of Islam in Sierra Leone. That was my first look. So I admire them so much and at an early age they gave me the weapon of life. They gave me knowledge and they gave me the opportunity not only to be knowledgeable in the Quran, which I succeeded very early, inshallah, before I went to secondary school, I had already finished the Quran, my father would give me an opportunity to talk publicly. That's why part of me is talking publicly without necessarily holding a paper. And um, I also, I was also forced to see that I go to the Western education. My father used to tell me, it's called late Alaji Sadio Kamari, he was the chief imam of Bo, and then he laid the founders of Islam in Makini in the early 70s. He told me that the world is very challenging, that we should not only learn Arabic, we also have to learn English, so that we use Islam to propagate Islam through the medium of English. So I combined the two education and that helped me so much. Like you said, I face a lot of challenges in life and it is normal. Among the challenges is how I can continue to maintain my Islamic identity. I remember well when I went to Fobe College, after I have graduated with a higher teacher certificate for Milton Magai College of Education 1982-85. Then I went to Fobe College. It was a challenging. Of course, there was Islam at that time, in the 80s, in the latter 80s. Of course, there was Islam in Fobe College, but it was the Shah Islam. It's a time where in people who, look, who could read English are ashamed to say I'm a Muslim. But there I projected my identity as a, a Muslim because I have already the HTC, which is, was very popular then, HTC in Islamic studies and history. I, in, within a very short time, projecting Islam, I became one of the chief imams of Frabe College at that time, chief student. student. My, my influence was very strong that uh, within a very short time I was able to rally a lot, lot of students. Uh, today most of them are key in almost every sector of the society, which I never regretted. And it was for my own sake that a mosque was built in Flabi College, that person mosque. I became the first chief imam of the mosque of Flabi College. I tell you, one of the challenges I faced was that I had other people who never wanted to see Islam in Flabi College. But all the students were looking forward to my steadfastness. I even went to the extent of sacrificing my degree because there was somebody who never wanted to see Islam and he was a professor of English in the department. Because of that, I was forced to repeat here. 
but I tell you, I never regretted it. I also want to say, I, there was also a time when I wanted to go outside. Like my colleague because I lost my father and I, I had no brother. I'm the eldest of all the family. I want to help my family. I want to go to America, to England. But I knew from what I have learned from the Quran that Allah knows better. So I had to pray very fervently. Oh, Almighty Allah, I never wanted to go from college because of this, 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 this. I want to go abroad because of this, this, this. But you know better. If you know that by going to Fulbright College, I will be successful and I continue to be a dignified individual. I will never lose Islam. Alhamdulillah, let me be accepted from a college and let me be rejected outside. But I prefer outside. What happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed me in a dream in 1988 before I entered university that Allah wanted me to go to Fulbright College. And today I never regretted I went to Fulbright College because I have a lot of colleagues in the political arena, in the economic sector, in the banking sector. We are, they are my colleagues. We went to college together in the early 80s. Thank you very much for watching that very wonderful video. I hope you've learned a lot from it and you've also been motivated. Do join us on our social media platforms. Join us on Facebook as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel on YouTube and also contact the number on your screen if you want to get more videos on WhatsApp. Thank you very much.